Hello, Steve Love here. You've just heard me playing to an A minor jazz 251 backing track. And I was improvising using the C major scale, A minor scale, and A minor pentatonic scale. Now it's not just that simple. There's lots of extra notes that I'm adding in, which I'm calling these passing chromatic tones. Now, all of this exists in music theory. It can be really complicated. It can be simplified. I'm just trying to give a very practical way of dealing with the chromatic harmonica and um, the way that I'm kind of thinking about it in my mind as I approach to improvise and hopefully it will get most of you on the right track to doing what you want to achieve with the instrument. So let's get stuck right in. Up here on the screen you've got the C major scale, the A minor scale and the A minor pentatonic scale. Now if you look closely at each of these scales you'll notice that there's actually loads of overlap. They are all the same set of notes. Okay, I know that sounds really confusing, but it, it, when you get your head around music theory, it starts to make sense. So that C major scale is comprised of C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then we maybe go back to C in a higher octave. So it's gonna sound like this. Okay, simple enough. Now the A minor scale, believe it or not, it's exactly the same notes, exactly the same. But what makes it different is the fact that we're gonna start the run of the scale on A instead of C. And by doing that, you get a minor, minor feel and it instantly feels more jazzy, it instantly feels more bluesy. And this is one of the big secrets of music. This is, this is how it works, so here we go. So that's A minor, and as I said, that's exactly the same thing. So we're basically starting on A, and we go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then again I played A in a higher octave to finish it off. So that just leaves the minor pentatonic scale. Well, what's all that about? Well, basically, the, the, I've actually done a whole series all just about the minor pentatonic scale. Um, well, major pentatonic scales and minor pentatonic scales, again, they're pretty much the same thing, but we're just going to deal with minor pentatonic scales to keep it simple today. So the minor pentatonic scale is, if you look at the diagram, it is just five notes out of both of those parent scales. So you're just taking five notes from the C major scale, the same five notes from the A minor scale, and you've got this absolutely fantastic scale, which basically can't go wrong. And it can't go wrong if because by taking out two notes, you're always gonna get something that sounds rather pleasant. And this is what the A minor pentatonic scale sounds like. Just five notes. But as mentioned, a really good place to start if you wanna start trying to improvise with those passing chromatic notes. Let me just give you a little lick that I feature on the video quite a lot. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking minor pentatonic scale when I play that, but obviously I've got that lovely, sweet little, little slide jab going in. And that's the passing tone that we're talking about. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that might even be um, the, the minor pentatonic blues scale, or the, or the minor blues scale. Um, and, it, and we use these extra tones to add color to our playing. So now let's begin having a look and seeing what I'm doing on the video. So I'm just going to play the first extract. Okay, so I'm starting off that video in the A minor scale. And I'm starting on that draw on the A, on the three. And what I'm doing though is I'm not playing the scale straight. I'm not just playing the scale through methodically. I'm taking notes from the scale and I'm jumping between them and I'm trying to create a melody. I'm trying to create, create the sound that I want to hear. And then I'm obviously adding in these little passing chromatic notes. And I don't go away and learn where these notes are. I'm doing it all by ear. It all comes through practice. It comes through, through practicing and practicing and practicing to the point that it becomes instinctive and it's like muscle memory and I can just hear it and I can feel it. So um, that little riff, 
it's something like that, but I'm just basically, I'm starting on that A, I'm going up a couple of notes, I'm stopping, I'm putting in a slide jab, and I'm coming back down. And so immediately after that little riff on the A minor scale, I come in and I go and do a straight through um, run of the C major scale. But what you'll notice is as I do the run through the C major scale, as I get to the end, I then jump into some improvisation. And again, this is going to come through having played through these scales an awful lot, but also the link there is that I'm playing through that C major scale, and then when I do the improvis improvisation at the end, that's what I've learned from jamming out the A minor pentatonic scale, because I've got used to those improvisational points. I know which blowholes I can do all that improvisation on and all those jabs. And it's all become an instinct. And, and again, again, it almost comes back to muscle memory. And so in that extract, you can hear me playing that A minor pentatonic lick that I talked about earlier on in the video. And so just to give you an idea of how I got to the point of, of finding this and finding this in my practice, is that I just set myself the challenge of, of, of I learn the scale and then I try and improvise in the scale and make the scale sound musical without even playing to a backing track sometimes. So I might just riff in the scale and I think that's a really good technique and I think it's something you hear jazz musicians doing an awful lot. It's where they might even just play a chord, say you've got a piano or something in the room, you could play, you know, for example, a C major 7 chord and then you could try and just riff some of the C major scale over the top and make it sound musical to complement the chord. And I say I would say that's a really good way of, of practicing this instrument. And so I'm not going to go too much more into greater analysis of this video, but part way through after I'm doing my improvisation, I get to a point where I'm thinking, mm, okay, it's starting to sound a little bit too samey. So there's, a, there's an extract in the video, uh, just have a listen to this bit here. So what I'm doing here is I'm still thinking in terms of A minor scale, but instead of starting on the root of A, I'm actually starting my riff on the next note up, which would be B. And what's happening there is I'm starting to explore this kind of concept um, as, to, as to interplaying in modes, because what I'm doing is, is rather than starting on those, on you could call them those straight sounding scales of A minor, C major, a minor pentatonic, which we know are all going to fit nice and snugly, I'm going to start on a, on a different note of the scale and, and start riffing from there. And that's going to bring in all these dynamics. It's going to change everything. It's going to give it a completely different feel. Now, this isn't an easy thing to do, but I still find that it's something that I try and do naturally. It's not something that I, that I go away and, and look at and rehearse. Now, some people do. People, you, things you might want to go away and look at after watching this tutorial are things like the harmonic minor scale, the harmonic major scale, modes. You know, look, look at the concept of modes because really that's where you're going to start heading to once you've got comfortable with all of, the, of, of your parent scales, your C major, your A minor and your pentatonics because it's just going to give you that, that, that way of creating these new sounds. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this has been uh, useful. Um, I'm going to end the video with the backing track without me playing so that you can have a go at implementing the, the, the scales. Um, and if you do find it too difficult, go back and look up one of my other videos about, about the, the, the minor pentatonic scales. Start from there, start small, start with five notes. Try and find where all those passing tones are and find out what works. It just takes time. It takes time, it takes practice, and it takes patience.